In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my plan to live on nothing but cruise ships again. So let's go. Good morning, YouTube. Greetings from the Sky Princess. I just started my one year cruise adventure on this beautiful ship. I'm actually sitting on a glass walkway that is over the ocean. It's a little bit scary, so hopefully I don't fall through or if I do, it'll be great YouTube content. For those of you that have been watching for a while, you know I did a video detailing my plan to live on a cruise ship for one year. That went into like financial considerations and things like that but I figured I would give an update video that gives you a little bit more clarity of exactly what I'm gonna be doing, where I'm gonna be going, why I'm doing it, things like that. And for those of you that did not see that video, I'll link it somewhere at the end of this video, but this will give you uh, everything you need to know about my one year cruise adventure. So I'm gonna quit embarrassing myself. All these people are looking at me like, what is this crazy guy? doing sitting on this uh, walkway. So I'm gonna take you somewhere more private so we can uh, have a chat about this one year cruise adventure I just embarked on. Let's go. Okay, so I found a little private nook outside. How great is this? I got ocean view. This is actually a restaurant. It's a French bistro and you can come sit outside. They also have the same setup on the other side with a pizza restaurant that's complimentary and you can sit out and have freshly made pizza, enjoy the ocean going by, seeing the beautiful views on board the ship. So why am I doing this? So there's three reasons. So if you're new to my channel, or if you've been following along for a while but forgot, <laughs> I have been traveling nonstop for four years, and every year I have traveled a different way. So the first year I started traveling, I traveled in a group program called Remote Year. They took 35 of us, and we paid a monthly fee, they handled all the logistics of traveling, and we lived in a different country every 30 days for a year. When that ended, that's when COVID hit, and I was a new travel vlogger, just starting to build an audience, what am I gonna do? I bought a van and I started cruising around the United States in my Winnebago Travado and then in my Storyteller. And so I did that for a year. After that year, COVID was still going on, but I wanted to get back overseas so I went to Hawaii for a couple months and I got a visa to Thailand, headed into Thailand. And for a year, I lived in Thailand, living in a different place every 30 to 60 days. I motorcycled around Thailand a little bit for a few months, which was really cool. And then I came back to the United States, hung out with my mother for a little bit. And now I'm back to traveling again. And this time I selected to travel by cruise ship for a year. So I know a lot of you are thinking, well, why did you choose cruise ships as a way to travel? So there's a couple different reasons. Number one, if you've been following me for a while, you know I was in the United States Navy for 20 years. I spent a lot of time on ships, a lot of times at sea, and I miss that. I miss being at sea. I miss going to different ports around the world. And I figured this was an easy way to do that. I could hop on cruise ships and go around the world. And the second reason for wanting to do this on cruise ships is I've taken cruises in the past and I personally really enjoy cruising. I know it's not for a lot of people, but I really like it. As an introvert, it's a great way to travel. You can kind of plug into things when you want to. You can go back to your cabin and recharge when you want to. I just find it a great way to travel for an introvert like me. So I don't know if you can tell, but I actually had to switch sides. The sun poked out and was making it way too bright for me to film. But as you can see, it's almost a mirror image. Now I'm outside the pizza shop, sitting outside. So it's pretty awesome. Great, I mean, they've got actual real plants out here, some aloe, it's great. All right, so logistically, uh, how am I gonna do this? So my plan is to cruise on a bunch of different cruise lines. I'm currently on Princess, but I'm also booked for four other cruise lines. So five cruise lines total, Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, MSC, and celebrity, and I plan on adding a bunch more different cruise lines so I get to experience them all and I can give you some feedback on what I think about each one and how maybe they'll work for different types of people. Your next question might be, where are you going? So this is an update from the last video I did. So my plan is to spend three months in the Caribbean, where I am right now. We're actually on our way to the Bahamas, as I mentioned before. Sorry for this quick cut in, but I realized I forgot to mention what ships I'm gonna be on in the Caribbean and what ports I'm going to. I booked them all, so I know now. So I figured I'd share that information with you. 
So I'm going to be on the Sky Princess. Obviously, I'm on the Sky Princess right now. I'm also going to be on the Caribbean Princess. I will be on the Enchantment of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. I will be on the Norwegian Breakaway. I will be on the MSC Meraviglia and the MSC Seaside. So I'll be on five different ships in the Caribbean. I'll be going to Princess K's, Ocean K, Coco K, Grand Stirrup K, Belize, Barbados, Cozumel, Roatan, Costa Maya, San Juan, Dominican, Grand Turk, Nassau, St. Croix, St. Martin, St. John's, St. Kitts, St. Thomas, and St. Lucia. So all those beautiful places I'll be going to and sharing them with you. So let's go back to the main video. And then three months in Europe. Okay, one more cut in. I'm sorry, I know it's super windy, but I do know the first leg of my three months in Europe. So I'm gonna hop on a ship in Fort Lauderdale. I'm gonna head up to Iceland. I'm gonna hit three ports in Iceland. Then gonna head over to Norway and hit all the Norwegian fjords on the upper end of Norway. And then we're gonna head to London, England. And then from there, I'm not sure yet. So let's get back to the video to hear about the rest of my trip. Three months in Asia. And then the last three months, I'm either going to be in the Middle East or South America. I haven't figured that out yet. I really want to go to Antarctica. So it would be South America if I can make that happen. But it'll be one of those two. Maybe I'll split it up and do both because I really want to do the Middle East as well. So we'll see how that goes. And lastly, I want to talk about what the cruise experience is for me. Like, what am I going to be doing? So to be honest with you, a lot of people's cruise experience is about the destinations. For me, it's more about the ships. I really love being on ships. I really love being at sea. I actually like to find itineraries where there are more sea days because I just love being at sea. Of course, I'm gonna explore the different destinations that I go. Like today, we're going to Princess K's in the Bahamas. I'll definitely be doing some videos about that, talking about the different private destinations. It's, uh, Princess K is a private destination for Carnival Cruise Line ships. Uh, which Princess falls under the Carnival Corporation. So I'll definitely be sharing that, you know, sharing the destination type videos. But really, it's more about the ship life, the ships, the cabins that I'm in, the different things that go on uh, on board the ship. So uh, that's what we'll be talking about. If you want to dive a little deeper into my one year cruise adventure, there's a video right here. I talk about the costs and all those kind of things. And then if you want to see what I'm going to pack, Check out this video. I'm going to travel carry on only for one year of cruising. So you might find this one interesting and I'll be updating this one pretty soon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.